Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Slow Dancing in the Dark. It's very awesome, I'll be teaching you how to play the instrumental section that plays pretty much in the whole song. So once you learn it, you can pretty much play and sing to it, okay? But anyways, very awesome, there's like a very calm kind of like feel towards it, but it's also not easy to learn because there's a lot of arpeggios, okay? So anyways, here we go, give you a preview, it goes like this. Repeats. It's very awesome, okay? So let's go ahead and break it up into four parts to learn it, okay? So here we go, four parts. First part goes like this. We can learn it with both hands because it's pretty much, you're using the two hands, it's like continuous, okay? It's just like arpeggios. So here we go, fit into this position. The first thing, okay, starting on the E flat on the left hand here. So middle C is here for reference, right? So you go in the E flat on the left hand there, and then the right hand rests your thumb on the G here. So middle C is here, go to the G here. So it goes like this, left hand starts off with first four notes. E flat, up to G, up to B flat, up to E flat, and the right hand comes in, G, B flat, two Ds, B flat, G, down to the left hand, E flat, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, like that. And that's the first part. So it's all connected, you have to learn it with both hands, or else it doesn't really work, okay? So it goes like this one more time. So left hand, four notes, E flat, G, B flat, higher E flat, G, on the right hand, B flat, D, D, B flat, G, and then left hand, E flat, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G. When it's faster and continuous, it's like this. Like that, when you put in the pedal in for this arpeggio, it's nice as well, very dreamy, okay? So that's that for the first part, okay? So then once you get that, let's move on to the second part. The second part continues like this. The right hand, you, you keep it on the same place, on the G, B flat, D, same as the first part. However, the left hand this time will move the pinky down to the C, just below middle C. So it goes C, up to G, up to C, and then turn up to the E flat. And the right hand's the same as the first part, so G, B flat, D, D, B flat, G. And then it continues on the left hand, E flat, turn back to the C with the thumb, and then G, C, C, up to G, like that. So it's just sort of like a pattern going on. The right hand is the same as the first part, but the left hand has this kind of similar pattern, but it's on a different note, okay? But anyway, one more time, it goes C, up to G, up to C, up to E flat, and then right hand G, B flat, D, D, B flat, G, and then right hand, I mean left hand, E flat, C, G, C, C, G. When it's faster and continuous, it goes like this. Nice and awesome when the pedal comes in as well. But anyway, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes like this. Like that awesome stuff. Now, moving on to the third part. This is the harder part. Okay, it's kind of annoying, but uh, I think you can go through it, okay? No problem, okay? Just a bit annoying with the right hand, okay? But anyway, left hand moves down to the F down here, so middle C, C, F, okay? So right hand, we stay on this middle C here, okay? So it goes like this, starting on the left hand, F, up to C, and up to the right hand, middle C, E flat, and then three Gs, and after the G, left hand goes back down to the F for two times, and then right hand, Okay, this is the annoying part where it goes down to the low F here. And then A flat, C, C, and then down to E flat, E flat, and then down to this lower C. Yeah, the right hands are pretty annoying for this part. Okay, but anyway, with practice should be alright. But anyway, one more time, it goes F, C, and the right hand goes up to the octave above C, E flat, G, 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 and then down to the left hand for two Fs. And the right hand goes more than octave down to that F here. A flat two C's, down to E flat twice, down to the C, like that. And that's the uh, third part, like this. So check it out, when it's continuous, it goes like this. Like that. So 
will take a bit of time for this third part because it's kind of annoying very like switching it around and everything and not like the right hand doesn't really have a fixed position like the other two parts in, that we learned but anyway back to back the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this check it out so it goes <laughs> Moving on to the fourth and last part before everything repeats. Okay, left hand goes on the G here, and then right hand uh, one octave above G here. Okay, so it goes lower G on the left hand, and the right hand comes over the G, B flat, D, and then two Fs, and then D, B flat, and then left hand comes back over the lower G, up to B, D, and the right hand goes B, D, F, and that's it for this fourth part. One more time, so it goes like this, goes left hand lower G, right hand above G, B flat, D, F, F, D, B flat, left hand, G, B, D, right hand, B, D, F, like that. Okay, like this. When it's continuous, it goes like this. Just like that, and you pause. And then, yeah, you restart back to from the start. Back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Check it out. Start. Okay, don't zone out like me. <laughs> and that's it, okay. So, main thing is the third part. That's the easiest part to kind of like zone out and stuff up. So make sure practice the third part a lot and you'll be all good. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So practice the four parts back to back and just repeat those uh, parts until we can get it very smooth. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I have many, many other uh, George Miller, Georgie, Filthy Frank songs on my channel. So go ahead. You can go ahead and um, check them out and learn it for yourself as well. I've pretty much done like pretty much most of his most famous songs. Okay, but anyways, that's pretty much it. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.